95-year-old American actor, singer, and dancer Dick Van Dyke has had an impressive, to say the least, career over the past 70 years. Originally a radio and TV entertainer in the 40s, Dick's career began to take off in 1961 when he starred in the original Broadway production of Bye Bye Birdie. His career took off so much from this role, he won a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical for his performance. He was then cast by Carl Reiner as Rob Petrie on CBS's The Dick Van Dyke show, which really excelled his path to fame. Since that show, which ran from 1961 to 66, Dick Van Dyke has starred in an incredibly long list of movies and TV shows, including Bye Bye Birdie, Mary Poppins, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, The Carol Burnett Show, Night at the Museum, and most recently, Mary Poppins Returns, which he filmed at a remarkable 91 years old. So what does the lifestyle of someone who's been working in Hollywood for seven decades look like? Stick around and we'll tell you. As expected from someone who's had many a starring movie role, five primetime Emmy Awards, a Tony Award, and a Grammy Award, Dick Van Dyke has done quite well for himself. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he has an estimated net worth of $50 million. To put that in perspective, DQYDJ reported that in 2020, the average household net worth was $746,000. Needless to say, Dick Van Dyke is way beyond average, and that goes beyond just his dance moves. So how exactly has he spent that fortune? For starters, he's invested in some very nice real estate. Dick Van Dyke was formerly the owner of a 12,000-square-foot home in Encino, California that sits on more than an acre of land. The three-bedroom, five-and-a-half-bath house has a theater and billiard room, a fitness room, a tennis court, and a wine cellar. In the late 90s, the home was sold for $1.25 million. And in 2016, it was sold again for $6.5 million, even though its original listing price was $8.995. An interview with The Day reports that Dick Van Dyke bought a home in Malibu in 1986 from Canadian-American actress Margot Kidder. The 2,200-square-foot, three-bedroom house was built in 1973, is about a mile from the beach, and is on about one-third of an acre of land. Kidder sold the home to him for $750,000. Today, as reported by Heavy, the Malibu pad is worth $5.2 million. That's not too bad of a profit. Dick Van Dyke also owns the childhood home where he grew up in Danville, Illinois. While he described the home as a, quote, simple two-story frame house, he did at one point have plans to renovate it and turn it into a museum and make it the headquarters for his scholarship foundation, the Dick Van Dyke Foundation, Inc. As of December 2020, the Commercial News reported that renovations had yet to begin. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. In addition to real estate, Dick Van Dyke has also done investing in pricey cars. After his Jaguar XJ caught fire and was destroyed in 2013, don't worry, he was totally unharmed, it came out that Dick Van Dyke was a lover of the luxury car brand. He loves Jaguar so much that even one catching on fire didn't stop him from getting a new one. In fact, he bought himself a new one right after the accident. Having money is, of course, nice, but it can't necessarily keep you healthy and doesn't guarantee you'll live a long life. To live to be 95, like Dick Van Dyke, you have to spend at least some time taking care of yourself and focusing on your health. And that's exactly what Dick Van Dyke does. When CBS This Morning interviewed him at his Malibu home in June of 2021, the actor made sure viewers got a look at his daily workout routine, sit-ups and leg circles included. Dick stressed the importance of staying active, even at his age, and credited his regularly active lifestyle for his ability to still dance. In fact, he can still dance so well, he chose to learn and performed the hardest version of a dance while he was reprising his role in 2018's Mary Poppins Returns. That dance included jumping up onto a desk, which he did on his own. He's a big proponent of keeping yourself moving, which he stresses numerous times in his book, Keep Moving and Other Tips and Truths About Aging. Dick Van Dyke also advises not going downstairs sideways, as it tends to throw your hips and back out. Additionally, he credits his optimism for his ability to keep going. During a 2015 interview with NPR, he shared that he gets up on the right side of the bed each morning, enjoys a cup of coffee, and heads to the gym before he has the chance to talk himself out of it. Positive vibes only for Dick Van Dyke. He's certainly leading an impressive, active lifestyle for someone his age, but it doesn't mean he hasn't had to make some sacrifices, such as playing tennis, which he apparently retired from doing. But lucky for us, he's still singing and dancing. Dick and his makeup artist wife Arlene Silver have been married for seven years. The two met at the SAG Awards in 2013 when Van Dyke was 86. And while their friendship blossomed quickly, the romance part took a little longer. 
but they got there and soon fell in love. Despite the 46-year age gap between the two, Dick claims the decision to marry Arlene was one of the smartest and best moves he's ever made. Arlene has said they have a fairy tale romance and Dick is still young at heart. The two were even working on a TV show about their relationship and their life at home at one point. Prior to his marriage to Arlene, Dick Van Dyke was married to Marjorie Willett for 36 years before divorcing in 1984. They have four children together. Van Dyke then lived with his longtime companion, actress Michelle Triola Marvin, for 30 years before she passed away in 2009. Clearly, age has not kept Dick from doing anything, marrying later in life, sit-ups, jumping on desks, and acting. And Mary Poppins Returns wasn't his only acting credit as of late. In 2015, he appeared on an episode of The Middle and then did two episodes of Kidding in 2020. He also starred in the 2017 independent comedy Capture the Flag, which was produced by Barry Van Dyke, one of his sons. In May 2021, Dick Van Dyke was honored at the 43rd Kennedy Center Honors, where none other than Mary Poppins herself, Julie Andrews, introduced him. Andrews described her Mary Poppins co-star as, quote, an artist, a one-man band, a profound philosopher, a high-stepping showman, and spreader of charm. In addition to being endlessly kind, wildly imaginative, insanely talented, and hilariously funny. Steve Martin, Van Dyke's Bye Bye Birdie co-star Cheetah Rivera, Brian Cranston, and Lin-Manuel Miranda, who worked alongside Dick in Mary Poppins Returns, were also there to pay tribute to the Hollywood legend. Prior to receiving the Kennedy Center honor, he sat down with today's Al Roker for an interview where he reflected on his career. His love of entertainment and passion for acting shines through in the interview, and Van Dyke says he doesn't know what he would do if acting wasn't a part of his life. He even still has aspirations of performing Shakespeare's King Lear. Needless to say, he's not stopping or slowing down anytime soon. In addition to his Grammy, his Tony Award, and five Primetime Emmy wins, he's been nominated for 10 Primetime Emmy Awards. He also received the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award in 2013. Now it's time to hear from you. Whose lifestyle do you want a glimpse of next, Carol Burnett or Julie Andrews? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.